Okay, decent progress so far. Let's now go and actually create that PDF and attach it to this email. So in order to do that, I'm gonna pull in a library which uh, can create PDFs for us in PHP, and that is called MPDF. Choose high definition for the best viewing experience, and if you'd like to join a growing group of software developers and take your skills to a new level, all you need to do is subscribe, click the little notification icon, and welcome. It doesn't matter which one we use, if you've used one before, which is a particular favorite, and you think you'll uh, do a better job using that, then by all means use that, but this is uh, just one which I found really easy to use, so I'm gonna use this. Composer, require mpdf, forward slash mpdf, and so I'm expecting a warning here, and that is uh, regarding this package here, PSR log. So I've got a bit of an incompatibility issue. I'll let you read through this if you wanna look into it in more detail, but it's basically saying I'm locked at a particular version in my lock file. So there's a quick way I can get around this. Actually, Composer gives you a nice little hint and tells you what to do. It says use the option with all dependencies or just hyphen uppercase W. So we'll run this again, hyphen uppercase W, hit go. One of the things I really like about this is I can just create some HTML and it will convert that and write it to a PDF. The first thing I'm gonna to need to do is create an instance of the MPDF class. So MPDF equals new MPDF and then I'll start to create some content to go in this file. So content equals, and we'll say contract note for order, and then we'll get the ID for the order using the same uh, methodology that we used here. And then let's append to this. So content, append, and we'll just append some made up price here. That looks pretty good. And then the method we want is mpdf write HTML passing in our content, and then we need to create this PDF. So I'm gonna call it contract note PDF equals, and we need to output something from our MPDF object. So we're gonna say MPDF. And I don't wanna save a physical PDF to a location. What I want to do is just have something which I can attach straight to our email. The way I can do that is by leaving the first argument blank and for the sec second argument destination I'm just going to put a capitalized S and then what I want to do is attach this to the email. So attach. The first argument will be the actual PDF. So contract note PDF and you must give this a name or it won't work. And so we shall call this contract hyphen note dot pdf. Okay, and so now I can go and test this out. So on this buy page, I shall refresh. And uh, it looks like I've got a new email here. If I click on that, I'll see that I have an attachment, which is my contract note pdf. I'll just save that to my desktop. If we open this, and so we get contract note for order one and our hard coded price in there. And so with that, we've got our two tasks out of the way, which we wanted to complete before we could really uh, go and start having some fun with asynchronous. We can generate a PDF, attach it to an email and dispatch that email. Before we finish, let me just remind you about the branching strategy that I'm using for this. Uh, if you wanted to contribute or if you're just wanting to pull the repo to compare your work with mine. Each video is has an accompanying branch. For this one, for example, I called it part five forward slash attaching PDF. So it'll always be in the format of which video it is. So in this case, part five, and then what we're actually doing in that video. So I'm trying to keep everything sort of self-contained so I'm not doing too much in one video and then it should be easy for you to follow along and just drop little bits into your code if you struggle with a particular video or whatnot. Let's move on. If you've enjoyed this video and you'd like YouTube to show you more of my content, all you need to do is subscribe and click the notification icon. And also, if you're interested in my full-length courses, then make sure you check out my site at garyclark.tech. I'll leave a link on the screen and in the description.